just going to show how to bias a B52 um, AT amp, whether you have the AT100 head or the 212 combo, it's the exact same amp. Uh, so here goes. Uh, get your chassis out, basically set it down on a suitable surface. It's basically resting on the transformers. Set all your knobs to zero. Set your rectifier to solid state. As always, make sure you're connected to a speaker uh, before you turn on any amp. Power connected. Um, now the way B52 says to do it is to remove the fuse. Put your two leads on the uh, on the fuse um, fuse leads. Uh, that being your um, your common and your lead coming from your multimeter. Uh, but I choose to do it a different way. Um, basically, uh, the tubes that come with the B52 amp are uh, each power tube is rated at 30 uh, milliamps. So if you did it this way, you would get 120 reading. Um, but you can also uh, connect the common to the to a ground and put your lead on the number five pin of the power tube any one of the power tubes uh, since the power tubes come matched um, and if you're going to change your power tubes make sure you get matched tubes so basically what you do you can find over here on this side get your common connected to the ground like so and you can use just the cheap this is like a Harbor Freight Tools ten dollar multimeter just you want DC volts alright now you take your lead of course let your, let your amp warm up a little bit flick it on and go to your number five pin and should get a reading like that now I have mine just set a tad higher than it should be right about 30 um, but I mean you can go up to 40 if you wanted uh, just as long as the plates and the and your power tubes don't start getting red um, but right around 30 is right where you want it and it's gonna be it's going to be the same for all the tubes, so that is how you bias 